Hi, I'm Fame Ketover of Lenguin.com, and this is Mandarin Chinese. Which witch snitched the witch switch for which the switch switch wished? Oh, wow. Okay, I guarantee today's lesson on the word witch will not be as difficult as that. Today we are going to be following Miss Novak's arrival in Beijing. Here's how she might be asked where she's staying and how she would reply. May I ask, where are you staying? I'm staying at the Beijing Hotel. Here's the word for to stay at. The second syllable in the compound to stay at is the same as the word which you already learned meaning to be at. Here's the word for hotel. And here's the name Beijing Hotel. Beijing 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 Here's the exchange live. With most verbs, you can say yes to a question by repeating the verb as a short answer. Since the short answer by itself sounds abrupt in Chinese, it's usually followed by a full sentence. The short answer sort of acts as a preface to what follows. To say yes to the question, for instance, you would usually say, there are some verbs that may not be repeated as short answers. The verb is one of them. To give a short yes answer to a question with you simply use the verb So listen for meaning yes in the following exchange. Are you staying at the Nationalities Hotel? Yes, I'm staying at the Nationalities Hotel. Here's the name for the Nationalities Hotel. Here's the exchange live. The verb may also be used asking what city a person lives in, although not for anything larger such as a province. Listen to the following live exchange. Notice that the word for no in this exchange is simply in the following tone. Listen to the word for no. Since can't be used for a short answer, the word is omitted and the word is used alone. The short answer is of course followed by a full sentence answer. You may have also noticed that with the city name, the verb is translated as to live in rather than to stay at. Someone that already knows that you're staying at a hotel may want to ask which hotel you're staying at. The word for which is Listen to the question word which and be sure to identify its tone pattern. Listen for which in this exchange. Which hotel are you staying at? I'm staying at the Beijing Hotel. Here it is live. You may have recognized the bound word from an expression you've already learned. Listen. 
What's your nationality? Which hotel are you staying at? Literally, is which country person? And is which hotel? You may be wondering why the English question word which corresponds sometimes to may and sometimes to maybe. Well, here's a tip. May is always only part of a word. Never try to use it except in compounds you've learned, such as On the other hand, maybe. is a full word, like the question word which in English, and ready to use freely. For example, since person is ren, which person is ren, listen for ren, in the following live exchange. Miss Novak, looking at a photograph from Labor Day celebration, asks her Chinese companion to identify some official she doesn't recognize. Listen. <laughs> On its own, without a noun like hotel or person after it, the word <laughs> may be translated which one. For instance, the question in the last exchange could have simply been <laughs> which one is Comrade May? Listen to the two questions compared. Which person is Comrade May? Which one is Comrade May? In any situation less impersonal than talking about a picture of strangers, it's considered rude to use the general counter g when referring to adults. Instead, you use the polite counter for persons. Wait. Listen to the Chinese for which comrade. 哪位同志? 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 Now, suppose that Miss Novak is attending the Labor Day celebration in person. Listen, which one is comrade Zhang? 哪位是张同志? 哪位是张同志? She is comrade Zhang. Notice that Miss Novak asks her question using alone with no noun after it. This is the usual pattern. Since the counter is only used with persons, the combination can only mean which person, even without the noun. Here's the exchange again live. How? Remember to head over to Langwin.com to do the exercises. That's Langwin, as in Langwin the Penguin. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all of our supporters who have helped making these courses possible. We want to keep making free courses, and with your help, we can do that. So be sure to head over to our Patreon page, where, in exchange for as little as a dollar, you'll get bonus stuff. Until next time. Stay cool.